Hello and welcome to my little workshop here in Leipzig, Germany, where I work on an unwound clockwork for many years now. Actually, the project started already 10 years ago, back in 2012, and yeah, it stayed with me for all that time. And so I thought this might be a good time to give you a major update um, and see how far we got and what's still left to do and yeah. So yeah, in this video I want to inform you about the current state of the project and also I want to talk a bit about some yeah, more personal problems which occurred recently. Um, so yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this video which will involve a bit more of talking this time but I hope it will be um, interesting anyways. So, um, I think the last major update was basically the trailer I released um, at the beginning of 2021. And uh, yeah, what happened since then? We finished constructing the office set until summer last year, basically with lots of props and furniture which was still uh, not ready when I released the trailer. And then back in fall, uh, we were able to uh, team up with a professional animator, Albert Radl, in Düsseldorf, um, who did the stop-motion animation for this scene. He did an amazing job and was able to finish four new minutes of stop-motion animation um, this winter, basically. And yeah, this was another major milestone to finish that set. It's back with me <laughs> again. And uh, yeah, with uh, four new minutes, um, we have now a total of 22 minutes animated, which is exactly 74% of the entire movie. So yeah, now we started building the next set, which will be another office scene, uh, the boss's office this time, which will be a, a bit more elaborate. And uh, yeah, after that, there will only will be one more major set. So it feels like we're already on the finish line. Of course, a long-term project like this comes with a lot of ups and downs, but um, I have to admit that the downs became a bit more frequent in recent months. And that's basically um, another reason I wanted to make this video, because um, the project has a lot of supporters by now, and I think it's, um, it's just fair if I'm completely honest about my personal and financial situation in this project. And yeah, I, I never talked about all these topic, topics ever before, but um, I have to say the this project became quite a burden over the years. Basically the pressure to make constant progress, to make it finished, to make it be finished someday um, puts me in a state of constant stress, um, which is quite unhealthy. And um, yeah, at the beginning of this month, I basically had a bit of a mental breakdown. And it also wasn't the first time this happened. So this time I decided something has to change. Okay, so I was thinking about this entire situation for quite a while now, and I came to the conclusion that most of the stress I feel um, doesn't come from the work itself, but more from the responsibility and financial problems which come with a project like this. The thing is, a project like mine is basically completely impossible to fund with classic film funding. Um, the main problem being that I just started the project quite naively and now I'm not able to apply for any funds at all because they all have the rule that you have to apply before you start with the project. And um, because everything is documented online, yeah, clearly the project is started. I can't lie about this and they are not making any exceptions. And the second option, just selling the movie itself, doesn't work either, it seems, because we are halfway through the production and so a company wouldn't be able to interfere with the content. I also wouldn't want this. <laughs> and um, also the movie is not yet finished, so they are not, they, they, they don't see what they are buying basically. So yeah, it's, it's quite in between everything and I can't go back and can't continue. It's, it's really an unpleasant situation. In the recent years, 
I was able to get some student funding because I was still enrolled at university. And this time has ended now and so I have to make a living with what I do here. Um, by now a lot of helpers are involved and contributing their time into the project. And many of them uh, put a lot of time in the, into the project as well. So it's a bit more than I could ask for um, for doing for free. So I pay them too, not very much, but a little bit. Um, and I, then, I, then there are all the people who watch the project and want to see some progress. So yeah, there's a constant pressure of putting out yeah, new images, new videos, stuff like this. Dear Patreon and PayPal supporters, thank you really very much for your support. You're very generous and I'm very grateful for that. Um, I really don't want to pressure anyone into donating more or starting a donation. Um, it's just, um, yeah, the, I, I don't have a wide enough audience, I feel. And still the space income I get at the end of each month is very helpful because that's something I kind of can count on. Um, while commission work, it comes and goes. Sometimes there is something and then there's nothing for many months. So that's very insecure and that's that's a stressful situation. I think everyone who was ever self-employed can feel that as well. Um, but yeah, if you, if you feel like um, you would be able to donate something to the project, then yeah, I would be very grateful. And I'm also really trying to give something back. Um, the entire team puts a lot of effort into the rewards as well to give something back for everyone who supports this project. So yeah, thank you very much for everyone. But yeah, I, I, I know that uh, the financial situation is difficult for many people so yeah i don't want to just get money for free i'm quite willing to do paid work as well so i'm offering stop motion armatures um, custom product development and prototype construction also video clip production if there's any interest so if you know a company or individual which uh, could use any of my skills feel free to yeah establish a contact there um, also, you can support me by buying something in my shop. Um, I set it up a couple of months ago and there are a couple of the miniatures I made in the recent months and also some merchandise. So if you want to support the project that way, that's a good option as well. But um, yeah, looking long term, um, I'm at a point where it's really difficult to maintain the project, but I don't want to stop it. I of course, I can't uh, throw away 10 years of work. Um, we have to finish it. So for the first time, I'm also looking for basically corporate sponsorship. If you know a company who would like to have their logo um, prominently displayed in the credits, I'm totally open about this if there are any opportunities. It's also imaginable to um, sell some partial distribution rights to the movie. So if you know a production company which might be interested in a project like this, um, I would be very glad if you establish a contact. I will not make any compromises on the story or the editing of the movie, you can be sure about that. But besides this, I'm quite open for selling the thing, basically. I definitely want to continue the project um, and so yeah we, we really need to find a solution together I think because at the current rate of um, of losses each month I won't be able to sustain the project for much longer that's that's just how it is so either we find a solution with donations or sponsorship and if that doesn't work and I have to do more paid work either commissions or a day job then yeah, I have to take away a lot of time from the project, which will slow down the progress significantly. If I have to take away time from the project, I would have to cut down on all the public work, meaning social media content, video and stuff like this. Um, I already had to cut it down a bit um, because yeah, I had to do commission work and setting up the online shop and all this self-employment work <laughs> but um, yeah I really wouldn't want to stop it completely 
because yeah i i want to have you involved in the project and it also gives me a lot of motivation to see all you people enjoying what i make but yeah if there's just not enough time then i would have to concentrate on the movie itself to make it finished at all okay so um quite a bit of hard topics i hope you're not mad at me about being that open it's just how it is and i think it's in everyone's interest to finish that movie we all want to see it and i want to finish it no matter the costs but uh, yeah that's just how it is we I, i need to change something because yeah um right now i'm really getting ill because of constant stress and mental pressure and it's just not healthy how it is right now um On the bright side, for the end of the video, we are making quite a bit of progress right now. Um, for the first time ever, I will have an intern next month. So someone will be around the workshop all day for July. And there are many little projects planned for the time. So uh, I think we will make a lot of progress. And besides this, um, right now we're working on the next office set, as I said, the, the boss's office. And there are many, many helpers involved. Um, Toby is doing some new um, paintings for the walls. Maurice, um, who is with the project for a long time too, um, he's working on tiny props for the set and um, did some amazing furniture design, which will look really good, I think. <laughs> And besides this, Inka has started working on the visual post-production of the most recent scenes. She joined the team a couple of months ago, mainly to help out with digital work, like preparing images and merchandise and stuff like this. And now she's able to tackle the difficult task of scene compositing in Adobe After Effects, which is actually a very important topic for the look of the film as well. There's also a new puppet under construction, uh, the human boss. Um, and we're trying a lot of new interesting stuff on this character. I developed a breathing armature, so basically a skeleton, which is able to expand and contract, so the character is able to breathe heavily. Um, and Ulrich, the puppet maker, is making a new head and hands for the character. And um, this time, for the first time ever, they will also incorporate um, 3D printing for the skull and some mechanical connections, which will be very interesting. And um, yeah, hopefully we will be able to finish the, the next office set um, maybe in fall and then be able to start shooting already this year on that set. And after that only one major set will be left and um, that's another very big one with a lot of new characters. But um, that's something I'm, I'm looking forward to for many years now because that one will be uh, really funny. <laughs> And um, yeah, so only two sets left. Doesn't feel that much. Maybe we can make it in two years if we find a solution for the current situation. Mm -hmm. And if everything has to slow down a bit, then maybe it takes three or four years. But I will finish it. I won't give up. So yeah, please, please be patient, stay with me. And if you are able to support the project in any way, then yeah, I am very grateful for that. So yeah, thanks for sitting through all this long talking video. And yeah, see you next time with a bit more crafty content again. So thank you everyone. Bye bye.